All right, guys, so we are in full pandemic. New York right now experiencing over 38,000 cases, and that is as of the 26th of March. So the likelihood that you're gonna get coronavirus is probably pretty high right now. Last I heard it was something like 40 to 60% of the US population. So you're gonna have to be able to take care of yourself or your family or your parents or, you know, God forbid, you know, one of the little ones. So if you go on the CDC website, they give a lot of good information when it comes to preventive measures, make sure you wash your hands and all that stuff and don't give coronavirus to somebody else. So I'm gonna discuss two methods that uh, nurses use in the hospitals uh, for patients that have ineffective breathing pattern, which is what we call it in the hospital. I had a Taekwondo teacher and one of the things that he emphasized on was air. He said, you can die one week after not eating or you can die one day after not drinking water, but you can die one minute after not breathing. But this is, this is about saving lives. So to save lives, you gotta save the breathing. One of the most important interventions in breathing is pulmonary hygiene. Used to be pulmonary toilet, but now we just call it pulmonary hygiene. And the idea with pulmonary hygiene is that you're expanding your lungs and you're expirating all the junk that is producing your lungs. So there are a couple of effective strategies, really two main ones that I want you to remember. One is deep breathing and two, precaution. So I did a little bit of research online. There is a great video, I'm gonna provide the link below. Take a look at it. Uh, it's a little bit technical, but the main idea is that you take a deep breath in as much as you can and then hold it for a couple of seconds and then cough it out. All ACTs include huffing or coughing. Huffing means to breathe in slowly through your nose, hold the breath for three seconds, and then exhale with an open mouth, similar to fogging a mirror. In huffing, a small breath in, followed by a long exhale, moves mucus from the small airways up into the larger airways. A deep breath in, followed by a short, forceful exhale, moves mucus from the larger airways and out of your lungs. Then, you cough to clear the mucus out of your airway. After coughing, it's important to always spit out the mucus and not swallow it. Remember to clean your hands when you're finished. I would encourage you to make sure you, that after you cough, you look down, you spit it out, don't swallow. And then try to do it for like, you know, one minute every hour while you're awake. So the ones that I like about this video is one, the huff coughing, and the other one is percussion. Chest physical therapy, also known as postural drainage and percussion, is when another person uses cupped hands and percussion to loosen mucus from your airways. This percussion happens while you lie in positions that use gravity to drain the mucus from your smaller airways. You then huff or cough the mucus out of your lungs. The important thing about it is that you're taking an active role in care of your breathing. So don't let the disease just take hold of you and cough when the body you know, requires it because you're gonna do a lot of coughing anyway, but take an active part in that deep breathing and in taking the, the corona, taking the coronavirus out of your body. It's gotta come out. Positive thoughts and positive energy for everybody there. You know, wish you well. And if you have any questions, call your doctor. All right, people, peace out.